Hey guys and welcome to part two of my candle lanterns. So this was the stopping point for part one. It's the video before this if you've not seen it. I'll link it in the description also so you can get to it easily. But this was where we left off. I had made the three candle lanterns using the frames and then I had added some foliage and I'd also added some gems onto the front with hot glue. So for this part of the um, video, this will be part two or three. There'll be another one which will be uploaded on Friday. Here we will need some lollipop sticks. I needed two packs of these. So, um, well, I say I needed two packs. I had one half a pack left over, so I had to buy another one. Um, I also used some of the chalk paint from Poundland in the green and the white for the birdhouse. And then you'll need some gems, but I didn't end up using it in this part. I'm going to decorate the birdhouse once they're finished. And you'll also need some birds. I'm using these that I got from Wish. They were free. I paid £2 for the postage for the both of them. And again, I'm not going to be using these until part three. So to start off making the birdhouse, I used some of the lollipop sticks. You'll need a ruler and a glue gun and a pair of scissors at some point in this craft also and definitely some tweezers. So I just laid them flat and I wanted to make sure that they just hold, overhung slightly about half a centimetre. And then I just grabbed a ruler and placed it on the table so that I could make sure that they were straight. And then all we're going to do is use a little bit of hot glue and stick that into place. So I'm just going to pop the lollipop stick into place. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. It doesn't matter too much if the glue comes out of the underneath because um, you're not going to see this once it's spray painted and they're um, layered up. So it doesn't matter too much. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you want to see more from me, then please subscribe. If you're returning, it's great to see you again, my friends. It's um, it's just been amazing. And uh, yeah, um, I'm just going to continue. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you leave a comment, I'll always reply. If you've got any questions for me, please do ask. And yeah, um, just thank you everybody. So I'm just making sure that I'm going to put one in about the same place on the other side. And again, just using a little bit of glue to secure it in place. And then we're just going to build it up. I'm going to do six layers of lollipop sticks. And then I'm going to attach one in the middle and I'll show you that in a second in a second. So you're just going to continue building up with the lollipop sticks. And like I said, I ended up doing six layers in the end, but you can do as many layers as you want, depending on how tall you want the birdhouse to be. And you don't even need to use the birdhouse for these candle lanterns. You could just build them and make one if you wanted and use it for something else. But I wanted it for the middle candle lantern. So I am going to skip the video in a bit until I get to where I'm going to add the one in the middle. So as you can see, there's hardly any gap between the popsicle sticks. So if the glue does come out, it doesn't particularly matter. And like I said, if you spray painting over it, then you won't see it. So I've done six layers and now I'm just going to pop one in the center 
on one side i'm just deciding which bit i want the hat front of the house to be the side that's the straightest So I've picked the side that I want and I'm just going to attach the lollipop stick about halfway. And I'm doing this so that I can stick one of the birds on the front of the birdhouse. And then I'm just going to pop another lollipop stick over the top of it to hide where I've stuck it and I'm going to stick one at the back also. And because this is going to be the top one, I have made sure that I've taken the glue off the front of it so you won't be able to see it. And the bird will just sit on the front like that. And then now I'm going to make the sides. So for the sides, I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm going to make sure I stick the lollipop stick right at the end of the two sticks on the sides. And I found it easier to stick the side ones to the top one. So again, just using a little bit of hot glue and just popping that into place. And then just turning it over to work on the rest of the lollipop sticks. So because I wanted to have a striped effect, I decided to just stick a lollipop stick in every other one and then take the one out that I'm going to spray paint a different colour. So I just popped it into place and we're just going to continue to stick lollipop sticks all the way down. But like I said, I'm taking one out because I'm going to spray paint it a different colour. So... I'm just using it as a rough idea of where I'm going to put the other lollipop sticks. So I'm just popping that on. I'm not gluing it. And I decided I was going to try and use a pen to mark it. But in the end, I just used the lollipop sticks as a guide. So I just popped it down. And then I'm going to glue the next one. And this is so I can spray paint the ones that are actually stuck down white and then the lollipop sticks that are left at the end, I am going to spray paint them green. So once I've popped it into place, I'm taking the one that I'm going to spray paint green out and then I'm just going to pop it down again without gluing it and then stick the next one. So I've got this in the end. And then I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm making two of them and they're going to sit on the top of the birdhouse and create the roof. Like so. So I'm going to spray paint and then let them dry. So I've done that. I've spray painted the bottom green because I wanted a white bird sat on it. So I didn't want it to be white. And then I've spray painted the two sides that I'd glued white and then the individual sticks I've spray painted green. And these are just going to slide into place. Like so and form the roof. So I'm going to stick them down with hot glue 
and then once they're done we can actually add the roof to the birdhouse you'll need an extra spare one just for the center of the roof and i'm just going to glue them into place making sure that two green lollipop sticks are facing each other and once they're glued i just put glue at the bottom of the sides and at the top like so and then i'm just going to glue the last lollipop stick on the top just to hide the joints and then once this is done i'm going to pop it to one side we're going to do some more stuff to it we're going to decorate it in the third part of the videos and i'm going to move on to doing some more of the flowers on the candle lanterns but this is the basis of the birdhouse So these are the lanterns as we left them in part one. I'm now going to add some greenery in the back and the flowers that I wanted was to just hide the joins of the large lantern. I was going to do them in the small ones but I wasn't too bothered because once the candle's in there you're not going to see them anyway. So I'm just going to do the larger one. And the flowers that I could find that I thought would work were these ones. I got these from the market. They were a pound a bunch, but they're not long enough and how I want them. So I'm going to actually start to glue these together and I'll show you how I did them. Um, I just took them apart and then started to use hot glue, hot glue to glue them together. So I'll show you how I did that in a second. So I've just pulled everything off. I keep these because they're worth keeping if you make um, paper flowers. They're great for stems of paper flowers. So I always keep them. And then I'm just going to use the flowers and the leaves. And I'm just going to glue leaves every now and again to hide the stems. And I'm just using hot glue to do these. And then once I've put the leaves into place, I'm just going to use them as the back to stick some more flowers so that I create a chain of flowers that are long enough to fill the back of the lanterns. It was a little bit fiddly and it would have been a lot better if I could have bought flowers that would have actually worked for it. But unfortunately, um, I live in a small village and there wasn't much selection. So this was um, a way of getting around that. So I'm just going to use the leaves to hide the next bit where I glue it. it took me about half an hour to do the two so i just made sure that i did them the length of an a4 piece of paper which is the same size as the frame and i will be back once i've done the two to show you so these are the two that I did. They're just a little bit shorter than the paper and I'm just going to attach them with hot glue into the frames, into the large one. So I will be back once I've done that. So I've added them into the back and as you can see, they slightly hide the frames a little bit better, which I'm much more happier with. And um, now I'm gonna work on the front foliage and I'm gonna use a side angle and it's not the best quality, but I wanted to show you how I measured out and did this. So I've got a large piece of card, it's just off a cardboard box. 
and all I'm going to do is measure five centimeters in from the smaller frames and the larger frames I didn't just want a straight piece of card I wanted it to have a little bit of shape to it so I'm just measuring about a centimeter out from the large to the to a centimeter out to the side of the large frame and I'm measuring five centimeters in and I'm just marking that with a pencil and using a ruler so it's like that so five centimeters in and then I'm just going to join that up like so and I'm going to cut this section out of the card with a craft knife I'll be back once I've done that so that's how I want it so it just fits nicely around the front frame and then I'm going to measure about a centimetre out from the side of the small frame and the same on the other side as well and then I'm just going to use a ruler and draw right down to the other end of the card And then once I've done this on this side and I've done it on the other side, I'm going to use a craft knife and cut off that section on each side. So I've done that now and now I'm going to measure the bit that I want to cut out. So because I've done five centimetres from the smaller frame to the front of the larger frame I want to make sure that the piece of card that I'm going to use to stick the foliage on is five centimeters long so I've just measured five centimeters from the edge and I'm going to measure till five centimeters across and just mark a line and then once I've got to the end, I'm going to mark another five centimeters down and draw a line. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'll measure five centimeters down. And then draw a line until it's five centimeters from the large frame and i'm just going to draw a line across so this is exactly the same as the other side and then i'm just going to measure five centimeters down again and then i'm going to draw a line across the bottom to join the two lines that I've already joined across and I'm just going to check where the center is and make sure that it is five centimeters down and then I'm just going to draw a line so then we'll have a five centimeter border of card around the three the front of the three lanterns and this is what I'm going to use to stick the foliage to I just thought it'd look nicer than um, just a straight piece of card. So I'm just going to cut this section out with a craft knife and I'll be back. So it's all cut out. And like I said, I just didn't want a straight piece of foliage across the front. I wanted it to frame the frame, uh, the lantern. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the shape. It's all measured out. It's all even and equal. And I'm going to start to glue some foliage to it. I've got some different leaves that I picked up that I liked um, that I got from the market. Um, they're a mixture of dark green and light green. So I'm going to use some of them as the base. And these were a pound a bunch. And then I've got some of the leaves that I've used, the dark leaves that I've used on the top of the frames. And I've also got some white flowers. 
so i'm just going to start to stick the leaves into place with the glue i'm not going to show you all of this i'm just going to show you the start and i'm just going to follow the pattern all the way around working from one side inwards and then you working from the other side inwards so i'm just going to start to glue the leaves in and you can use any leaves and you can do it in any way that you want this is just the way that i did it and i want to make sure that they are not overlapping the top of the cardboard otherwise they're not going to fit around the candle lanterns so i'm trying to make sure that every time i place a leaf near the top of the card which is the bit that's closer to you um i'm just going to try and make sure that they just cover the cardboard but don't hang over so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I'm just going to add a different mixture of leaves and I'm just going to repeat the same pattern on the other side. I decided to add four of the these leaves, the lighter green. And then I'm going to use one of the darker leaves that I used on the top of the frames. And I'm going to pop a light, very light green in between them. So this is the dark one. These are the ones that are on top of the frames. And I've still got more foliage to put on top of the frames. So I'm going to do that in part three. So I'll just pop that in place. That's just to hide all the joints of where we just glued the other ones. And then I'm going to follow that pattern. So four of the other leaves and then one of the darker leaves. And I'm going to do that all the way across. It took about an hour to do. Just because you have to let the leaves dry. Um, but I just put something good on the TV and just... Uh, just enjoyed my afternoon making this. So we're coming to the end of the video. So I'll um, say my goodbyes now and then finish off. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you're looking forward to part three and seeing it finished. I know I am. We're going to be adding details to the birdhouse. We're going to add the flowers to this um, garland that I'm making. And then we're going to add some candles and decorate the candles, etc. And yeah, we'll get to see what it looks like when it's all done. So if you, like I said, um, if you're not subscribed and you want to see part three, then, you know, please subscribe again, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And, uh, if you leave a comment, I'll reply. So yeah, um, I'll show you where we're up to now. So this is all the foliage done at the front, the birdhouse is in the middle. It's not going to stay like that. I'm going to attach it to something and we need to decorate it. And then we need to add the candles. I need to put more foliage around the top put the flowers on the front so i will see you in part three which will be up on friday i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, have a good week have a good couple of days everybody a good week and i'll see you